man, uh, man, it's, uh, you know, we got some beautiful winter crops out here, but have you checked the radar for tomorrow? It's looking like 90% chance of rain. rain. I just don't know with that gloomy, wet weather if we're going to be able to have market tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be pretty, pretty chilly and wet out there. Yeah, it's definitely forecasted for flannel and hot cocoa. For sure. Breaking news from North Florida School of Special Education where Tuesday's farmer's market has been canceled. Jordan Williams says that the weather is going to be too cold and rainy and market will be postponed. Asked for comment, Poxitoni Phil said, I'd trust Jordan's forecast over mine. We now take you back to regularly scheduled programming. What's up everybody? It's another beautiful gray Monday out here on the farm. Uh, but we're making it work. We're getting ready for spring. And I just wanted to let y'all know that um, we are looking at a pretty rainy day tomorrow on Tuesday. So first things first, uh, I'll have you know that market is canceled just as we prepare for that ugly weather. Uh, we just wanted to go ahead and get the word out that we will not be having market tomorrow. Uh, so come and see us next Tuesday uh, and we'll have our market set up down at the barn, all the fresh produce that you can get. Uh, and we will see you then. Uh, but today I figured while I had the opportunity, I wanted to take you guys on a quick little farm tour, so to speak, and show you three things that are growing on in the farm. All right, so number one, first thing that is growing on in the garden are these beautiful collards. Now we've been experiencing some colder weather here in Florida, but that is not going to deter these collards. Um, they're a great winter and fall crop to grow here in Florida. Um, they're extremely hardy and they can take some of those colder temperatures. And in fact, when we do have a drop in temperatures, um, it's going to make your collards a little bit sweeter. So things like collards, which are a part of the brassica family, are great for your winter gardens. Um, and they are in the same family as things like broccoli and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. Um, but they are doing great. As you can see, we've got three lush beds. You can see the other two behind me. Um, but they are a great winter staple for North Florida gardening. So come on, I'm going to show you number two of what we've got growing on in the garden. All right. Take a look right here. This is the number two thing that we have growing on in the garden, and this is fennel. Uh, fennel is a delicious herb. It's great in soups or uh, as a seasoning on meats. Um, you can roast the bulbs in the oven and have a delicious fennel snack, um, but you can also use the frilly part on the top, like I said, to mix into uh, soups or into casseroles. Uh, another really easy crop to grow here in Northeast Florida during the winter months. Um, and it's also going to push us out into spring. It's another great herb um, that'll last a little bit, um, that can withstand some of that earlier season heat. Uh, but fennel is another one. Take a look at these bulbs. They are just getting uh, beautiful here, getting very large. Uh, so you can expect to see those at market with us next Tuesday. All right, and number three, we're gonna shoot on over to the greenhouse and I'm gonna show you some uh, things that we're planning for the future in our garden. So come on. All right, so here we are in the greenhouse and I got something really cool to show y'all. Uh, take a look here as, uh, as a farmer and as a, a North Florida gardener, it's really important to stay ahead of schedule with your seasons. And before we know it here in uh, Jacksonville, it's gonna be nice and toasty. So uh, take a look here. We've got some of our spring plants um, already seeded and starting to sprout. Here you can see some um, young okra. And it's also a great time of year to propagate because everything is about to spring into life. Uh, so we've got some lavender, rosemary, some flowers, um, and then we've even got things like cucumbers and tomatoes coming down the line as we get prepared for our spring crops here on the farm. So that's what we've got growing on here at Berry Good Farms. I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope you're getting jazzed for spring to do your own gardening at home. Um, we'll always have starter plants available at market, so make sure you come and shop those so you can fill your gardens at home with those seasonal plants. <music>